Hello, this is Stampy, and welcome to another episode of Let's Talk. And uh, before I begin, I just wanted to say a very big thank you to Squid for doing last week's episode uh, where he spoke about bullying. And I must admit, I'm rather glad that he did the one talking about bullying and not me. Like, it was our most suggested topic about, like, over everything else that people were suggesting. And it's just such a difficult thing to talk about uh, because everyone's situations are so different. It's kind of hard to really give any, you know, advice without knowing, you know, people's details details about what they're going through uh, but yeah thank you squid uh, for um talking about your own experiences and i think that what he's dealt with in terms of bullying is very different to, to me and uh, I don't know I think that the advice he gave uh, is very different to what I would have said uh, you know just because he's had you know a different uh, experience with bullying so uh, what I'm actually going to be doing is a, another episode about bullying in the future uh, with Squashy uh, so she can talk about kind of what she's dealt with I can talk about what I've dealt with and you know how things have changed and uh, you know hopefully uh, give some uh, advice uh, as well so that's going to be coming up in the, the future uh, but I just wanted to, to say quickly that uh, Let's Talk is not only uh, going to be about these really serious topics. I don't want uh, to give the, the impression that this is just going to be uh, me and Squid sitting down and talking about, you know, very serious things and, you know, trying to, to give advice because it's not that. And it isn't supposed to be, you know, us knowing everything and giving advice. It's much more, you know, our, us talking about our experiences. And I really want to just to do more kind of general topics. You know, I want to talk about you know, gaming. I want to talk about, you know, why I play Minecraft on the console rather than PC, or I want to talk about, you know, what I liked and didn't like about Minecraft story mode, or other games I play, or I want to talk about films and movies. So, yeah, there's going to be a whole bunch uh, of, uh, of different topics to hopefully add uh, some more variety to, to these uh, in the, uh, the future. But for now, I guess I am talking about a pretty serious uh, topic and it's uh, something that I hopefully know quite a lot about and uh, that is uh, online safety and uh, the reason I should know a lot about it is because I spend a lot of my life on the, the online world and uh, uh, the fact that you know who I am and you're watching this video uh, means that uh, there's a good chance that you're uh, pretty similar uh, to, to me. So uh, when looking for um, uh, research for this episode I was kind of searching around and I was on the, uh, the NSPCC website uh, and that is a charity organisation that uh, kind of deals with online safety uh, in particular uh, for children and I know that not everyone watching my videos or watching this video you know is going to be a child I think the chances are most people uh, are younger than me but I know there's some of you that aren't <laughs> uh, but I think uh, hopefully most of the the things I talk about uh, can kind of apply to people of any age so uh, hopefully uh, it's going to be relevant to, to all of you so as I said I was doing this research I was going through these websites and I was kind of taking notes and I realized I looked at my notes and it was just like a list of like rules it was a list of like don't do this like don't go here don't say that don't click on that you know and I realized that a list of rules is probably the worst way to talk about online safety so instead I'm going to hopefully try and explain what the dangers are of online safety and kind of why these rules exist and hopefully if you kind of understand that you will just realize why the rules are, are kind of there and I think you're more likely to actually listen to the rules and see that you know they're not just there to try and irritate you so <laughs> uh, the first thing uh, I want to talk about, which is probably the uh, the most important thing, uh, which is why I want to talk about it first, uh, is um is basically the fact that so if you're talking to someone online, you can't always be a hundred percent sure that the person you're talking to is the person you think you're talking to, and I don't want to scare you. I know that. I mean, being online is an amazing way to meet friends. You know, a lot of the, the friends I have now and, you know, hang out with in real life, you know, I've met online through YouTube and, you know, through Minecraft in particular. And so, like, I don't want to, I don't want to ruin, you know, how amazing the internet is, you know, for you because it is an amazing place, you know, to meet and interact with, uh, with people. But what I want you to do is to kind of just bear in mind that if you're talking to someone who you have only met online and you have never met in real life, you always got to be slightly wary that that person might not be exactly who they say they are. You know, they might be a nasty person. They might be trying to, to scam you. So what I would recommend is feel free to, to talk to people, you know, as long as you are, you know, in a, a safe environment. But if they start to ask strange questions, if they start, you know, asking kind of 
personal questions to you, I think I'd start to be a little bit wary. If you're not sure at any point, uh, just uh, speak to, to one of your parents or, or someone else. Or, you know, if ever they make you uncomfortable and, you know, ask, you know, any information that, you know, you don't want to, to give, you can say no. And if they keep pestering you, you know, you can block them. You know, pretty much any website you're on or any Minecraft server, you know, you have the, the ability to kind of choose who you talk to and block uh, who you don't want to talk to. So I would say don't be scared to use that. If you block someone, don't, you know, don't think that, oh, I don't want to do it to upset them. If someone's making you uncomfortable in any way, you know, that is the reason why, you know, blocking, you know, is there. And so what I would recommend is to only try to, to talk to, uh, to talk to people that you know in real life. You know, if you're going to be talking about personal things, like if you're playing on a random Minecraft server, you know, feel free to, to, you know, say, oh, I'm over here, you know, come help me out. You know, if you're playing Hunger Games, you can team up with people. I'm not saying don't speak to anyone, but as soon as people start, you know, asking your name, you know, what country you're from, you know, where you live, you know, that is the case where you kind of want to take a step back and try and just talk about, you know, what it is uh, specifically you're doing, you know, at the time. And of course, I mean, I think you've probably all been told this a hundred times, you know, don't give out any personal information don't give out an address you know don't give someone your phone number don't give them you know like your facebook page or you know don't give them uh, anything like that you know because a lot of the time you know it might be someone that is trying to to be friendly with you it's not like if there is you know an online predator you know there the chances are they're not going to to seem like what you know they're going to be pretending to be happy and friendly to you and so it's not always obvious which is why I kind of say try and just always be wary and as I said I really don't want to be scaring you because you know I, I don't want to to ruin you know any friendships you you know you might have online and I don't want you to be you know going around always paranoid and scared you know about everyone because you know it is a, a very small amount uh, of people but it is something that definitely bear uh, to bear in mind and uh, something else is also important uh, is that if anyone ever tries to send a file to you no matter what they say it is you shouldn't accept it you know, unless it is someone and you know 100% it's, you know, you know who it is and it's someone you know in real life. You know, even if they just say, you know, I'm sending you a screenshot of something I built in Minecraft. You should never uh, accept a file to download onto your computer or your tablet or whatever, uh, just in case, you know, it's someone trying to, to hack you. And, you know, there are bad programs that, you know, you can download. So, you know, if you're ever not sure, I once again just ask a parent and, you know, get them to, to check it out. And there's, you know, there's programs you can run where you can kind of scan files and uh, make sure they're OK. And something kind of similar is also to do with like buying things online uh, you hear a lot of horror stories about uh, people that have been playing games and they they think they're buying something inside of the the game uh, but it turns out that you know they're buying things with real money so if ever there's a case where even if you're on a minecraft server or you know playing a game uh, especially games on like tablets you know or phones mobile devices you know make sure that if you're ever clicking to buy something that it's only an in-game item that's something uh, to, to definitely be very careful about and i think they're kind of they're the the main things uh, that I wanted uh, to talk about uh, and um, yeah so, so please do think about it uh, bear in mind everything that I have been saying as I said I really uh, don't want to, to be scaring you uh, but the the big alarm call that I would say is uh, if you're speaking to someone and it's not someone you know and they start getting personal and start asking you for any information uh, that is the time when you want to either block them uh, and uh, go and tell a, a parent as well just to just to check it out because the chances are you know it is totally innocent and it is someone just trying to be friendly but uh, it's something that you can uh, never be too uh, uh, too careful with um, so yeah I am in the future going to be talking probably about uh, online bullying and cyber bullying uh, because I think a lot of the things I've talked about uh, are more to do with you know when you're talking to people you don't know I know it's very different when there are people you know that might be messaging mean things and you know they're people that you know you know from school or, or work or somewhere and I think that is a, a very different thing uh, so I think I'm going to tackle that uh, in, a, in a separate video uh, there'll be a link in the description to the NSPCC website. Uh, I think it's mainly for parents to, to read through, uh, but I just want all of that information uh, to be available down there uh, below. So that's pretty much uh, this, that gonna be, uh, that's going to be this week's episode of Let's Talk. Um, as always, uh, please do leave suggestions uh, in the comments for future topics uh, that you would like us to, to talk about. Uh, I think I'm going to do a light-hearted one next. I think I'm going to talk about, I don't know, I'm going to talk about something uh, a little less serious, I think, in the uh, the next episode. So if you want to leave any suggestions for that, uh, go ahead and, of course, uh, leave suggestions for a squid down below as well. Uh, but for now, uh, that's the end of this video. Hopefully it helped you out, and I'll see you all later.